The Philippines, a stunning archipelago in Southeast Asia, boasts a wealth of natural wonders, historical treasures, and breathtaking landscapes. From the iconic chocolate hills of Bohol to the underground river of Puerto Princesa, and the serene beauty of Lake Kayangan in Palawan, this diverse country offers a plethora of captivating destinations for travelers. In this video, you can join us on a journey through this tropical paradise as we explore its most mesmerizing places, each with its unique charm and allure. Let's discover the 25 best places in the Philippines together right now. Number 1. Chocolate Hills the Chocolate Hills, which are recognized for their aesthetic features and are located in the Carmen area of the Bohol Island, are regarded as one of the most beautiful tourist destinations in the country. The Chocolate Hills, which cover an area of around 50 square kilometers and provide captivating vistas of spectacular cone-shaped hills, are a great vantage point. The lush green grass that covered these hills in the wet season totally dried up and turned a rich shade of chocolate brown, earning the moniker Chocolate Hills. Number 2. Banaue Rice Terraces The renowned Banaue Rice Terraces were once just a series of curving fields that embraced a mountainside. Young farmers are currently regenerating these plantations, even though the locals had completely abandoned this location. This terraced rice field made of mud and stone has provided for the needs of many Ifugao locals since before the arrival of Europeans, and in 1995, UNESCO listed it as a World Heritage Site. Brilliant engineering talents that have been passed down from generation to generation are demonstrated by the novel method of water collecting from the mist-covered mountaintops. Number 3. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park The National Park, located within one hour's drive from Puerto Princesa's city center, is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. This national park, also known as the Puerto Princesa Underground River, was included in the 2012 list of the new Seven Wonders of Nature. Tourists will ride a pedal boat inside an exciting cave while visiting Subterranean River National Park. Visitors will be greeted by a spectacular display of stalagmites and stalactites dangling from the cave's roof above a tranquil turquoise river. Number 4. Samal Island One of the biggest resort islands in the entire Philippines is reportedly Samal Island. Due to the island's vibrant culture and breathtaking surroundings, it is one of those destinations where you won't ever get bored. One of the island's top destinations for tourists seeking tranquility is Hagamit Falls. A trip to the Monfort Bat Cave is essential if you want to learn more about the fruit-eating bats. Talikud Island is a little ways away from Samal Island's fine sand beaches. The latter is well known for snorkeling, hiking and scuba diving. Vanishing Island, an 80 hectare stretch of white sand that only appears during low tides and vanishes during high tides, is another wonder of the Samal Beach. Number 5. Coron Island Coron, the third largest island in the Philippines, is a top tourist destination. The island's center has limestone peaks of varying heights, some of which include caverns that can be explored further for an adventure-filled day. Due to some of the most beautiful coral reefs on Earth, Coron Island is the perfect location for snorkeling and scuba diving. You can visit interior lakes and a number of colorful lagoons while on your excursion. There is at least one shipwreck close to Coron Island that is older than 100 years. Number 6. Mount Luho View Deck The highest vantage point on Boracay Island is Mount Luho, which is perched at 328 feet or so above sea level. The Ilig Iligan Beach, Bulabog Beach and Puka Beach panoramas may be seen in full splendor from the top of Mount Luho View Deck, which serves as a superb vantage point. There is a tiny zoo on the staircase leading to the deck that gets lots of attention. Couples can have romantic picture shoots in the lovely heart-shaped frame on the first elevation going to the deck. A small food outlet, a mini bar, and a seating space with tables and chairs can be found on the second elevation. The terrace and final elevation provide breathtaking views of the mesmerizing surroundings. Number 7. Crystal Cove Island Crystal Cove Island is a magnificent park that dates back to the Stone Era and is perched between Panay Island and Boracay Island. This island is popular among explorers and unconventional tourists since it has two clean beaches, fine white sand, lovely stone pathways, majestic stone towers, an interesting museum, and two rustic caverns. This island is a dream snorkeling location because of the abundant marine life and vibrant corals that can be found in the clear, azure ocean waters. On Crystal Cove Island, there is also a little forest that provides excellent hiking options. Before we head on to tip number 8, here's a little fun fact about the languages used in the Philippines. 
The Philippines is a linguistically diverse country with 183 live languages, most of which are indigenous or regional. Two official languages in the Philippines are Filipino and English. Filipino is based on Tagalog and serves as the national language, while English gained official status due to the country's history as a US colony and is widely used in government and education. Filipino and Tagalog are similar but not exactly the same, and they are often used interchangeably. Since the American colonization of the Philippines, English has been the primary medium of instruction in schools and institutions. English proficiency is highly valued in the country, and it has become one of the official languages. Over 14 million Filipinos speak English, making the Philippines known for its English fluency. English proficiency has played a crucial role in the country's economy, helping it become a top destination for call centers. For those looking to learn English in the Philippines, there are various options including in-person courses in cities like Cebu, Manila, Baguio, Bacolod, and even in popular tourist destinations like Boracay. These locations offer structured English as a second language, programs with certified teachers and world-class facilities, making the Philippines a popular choice for English learners worldwide. In summary, the Philippines boasts a rich linguistic landscape with numerous indigenous languages, but its official languages are Filipino and English. English proficiency is highly valued, and the country offers a range of options for those seeking to learn the language, making it a global hub for English education. Now, let's quickly continue with tip number eight. Number eight, Rizal Park. Rizal Park, the biggest park in Manila, is well known for its historical significance. The park is located where Jose Rizal, the nation's national hero, was once put to death and spans a roughly 140-acre area. Rizal Park now has lush gardens, lovely melodic fountains, an orchidarium, and monuments of well-known historical figures. This park, which is regarded as one of the Philippines' most attractive locations, is commonly frequented by couples who like strolling along its pretty avenues and lush lawns. Number 9. Fort Santiago Fort Santiago, located in historic Intramuros City, was built in 1593. This fortification, which boasts ancient architecture and is rich in history, is regarded as one of the most important historical sites in the Philippines. This citadel, which is tucked away on the banks of the Pasig River, was first built as a defensive stronghold by the Spanish governor and navigator Miguel López de Legazpi. The fort has stunning stone walls that are embellished with a variety of buildings, such as the Rizal Shrine, which honors José Rizal, a freedom fighter and the Philippines' national hero. Number 10. San Sebastian Church San Sebastian Church, a magnificent Roman Catholic church with a Gothic Revival architectural style, was founded back in 1891. The church, which is made entirely of steel, is a part of a street that also includes a seminary, a courtyard and a school. This temple, which was originally made of wood, regrettably experienced a fire catastrophe, and Gustav Eiffel rebuilt it, making it stronger and more resistant to natural disasters. San Sebastian Church, one of the most picturesque locations in the Philippines, has preserved its magnificent original interiors, which include colorful paintings, metal doors, wall ceilings, and glass windows. Number 11. Paco Park One of the greenest spots to visit in the Philippines, Paco Park is located in the area that originally housed the city's municipal cemetery and was formerly known as Cementerio General de Dilao. This building, built by the Dominicans during the time of Spanish colonial rule for the purpose of interring the remains of Spanish nobility, served as a refuge for Asian victims of the cholera outbreak in the 18th century. Paco Park is being used as a historical place and a hub for social gatherings. The park also has unmarked graves and a chapel to St. Pancratius that is Roman Catholic. For the enjoyment of the public, Paco Park regularly hosts photo shoots, musical performances and band performances. Number 12. Hinagdanan Cave Hinagdanan Cave appears to be among the spookiest tourist destinations in the Philippines, with flying bats, spikes hanging from the roof, and deep depths. However, it's entertaining to explore this cave and to go swimming in its cool, dark waters. The ceiling of the cave has a few holes that let in some light and make for some great photo ops. Hinagdanan Cave, which formerly housed residents of the Japanese Imperial Army, has considerable historical value in relation to the Second World War. Number 13. Tarsier Conservation Area The Tarsier Conservation Area is one of the best places in the Philippines for nature lovers. It is spread in a 6-hectare wooded area and is home to the protected and endangered Tarsier. 
Since the Philippines' Tarsier Sanctuary is one of the few sites in the world where you may view this monkey species up close, watching the odd-looking little Tarsier will undoubtedly prove to be an experience worth remembering for the rest of your life. Number 14. Blood Compact Monument The iconic Blood Compact Monument displays a table surrounded by five joyful soldiers raising a toast, with the Azure Sea providing a beautiful backdrop. This stunning monument, which is only 1.5 meters from the Tagbilaran Bakarong Church, commemorates the agreement made over a cup of blood by the Boholano chieftain Raja Sikatuna and the Spanish general Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. Visitors can read the historical notes next to the monument to learn more details about the Blood Compact Monument. Number 15. Mag-Aso and Busai Falls The Mag-Aso Waterfall, one of the most stunning attractions in Bohol, is regarded as one of the country's most serene tourist destinations and is not to be missed for its serene blue water. The waterfall, which is surrounded by a path of dense tropical forest, is particularly notable for its ideal photogenic setting. If you choose to discover nature and quiet tranquil scenic splendor over a busy city tour, Busai Falls, located in the adjacent Poro Island, is one of the top places to visit in the Philippines. Number 16. Magellan's Cross Ferdinand Magellan baptized the Filipino Christians at Magellan's Cross, one of the most well-known locations in the Philippines. The location has an outstanding octagonal structure that houses a massive cross. It is thought that Ferdinand Magellan himself planted the cross here in 1541. The establishment of the cross was allegedly ordered by Magellan upon his arrival in the Philippines to mark the introduction of Catholicism and Europe to the nation. Number 17. Kawasan Falls Kawasan Falls is one of the most picturesque locations to visit in the Philippines, offering beauty, solitude and tranquility. The chilly waterfalls, which are tucked away on the southern outskirts of Cebu City, provide ice-cold natural spring water that is perfect for swimming and canyoneering. You will need to hike for around 1.5 kilometers to get to the first waterfall. The route is dotted with gift shops where tourists may buy lovely trinkets like bracelets and beaded necklaces. Number 18. Kandongao Peak This summit, which is also known as Kandongao Peak, is situated between the Cebu, Badian and Alaguete mountain ranges. Kandongao Peak, which is situated at about 900 meters above sea level, is regarded as Cebu City's second highest mountain. The somewhat difficult Kandongao Peak hike provides fantastic camping chances. The summit of this monolithic hill provides amazing views of the lovely Negros and Bohol Islands. Number 19. Pukashel Beach The spotless Pukashel Beach, which is located on the island of Boracay, was formerly known as Yapak Beach. Due to the fact that the white sand along the shore is intermingled with shattered puka shells, the beach was dubbed Puka Shell Beach. This beach's length can reach 800 meters, and its crystal clear waters are ideal for swimming, paddleboarding, and kayaking. There are several large palm trees on the beach, where people can relax and enjoy some sweet coconut water or a picnic lunch. On the beach, there are also a few small shops selling trinkets like mats and sarongs. Number 20. Willie's Rock Willie's Rock, a rocky outcrop, is thought to be the Boracay Island destination that gets photographed the most. This rock formation creates a beautiful tidal island, and one of its stairs has a statue of the Virgin Mary. Willie's Rock, which is tucked away close to Station 1 of the White Beach, gets its name from the nearby Willie's Beach Club Hotel. Number 21. La Mesa Dam and Eco Park La Mesa Dam and Eco Park a stunning government endeavor to turn a piece of waste marshland into a green eco-park and biodiversity reserve for the wildlife to thrive and prosper, is situated in Quezon City of Manila. La Mesa Dam and Eco Park are two of the best places to go in the Philippines if you want to spend some time in a luxuriant green environment free of pollution without leaving the city limits. The park, which covers an area of about 33 hectares, also gives guests the option to partake in a variety of exhilarating sports like horseback riding, rappelling, ziplining, and even paddle boating. Number 22. Lake Kayangan Lake Kayangan, which is located in the northern region of the lovely Palawan Island, is regarded as Asia's cleanest lake. The water in this lake is chilly and transparent, and it's really lovely. Visitors to Lake Kayangan can partake in a variety of recreational pursuits, including swimming, boating, rafting, caving, hiking, and diving a great vantage point for taking in the spectacular panoramic views of the jagged rock formations, Blue Lake, and Verdant Plains is the short climb that leads to Lake Kayangan. Number 23. Underwater Mountains in Barracuda Lake Barracuda Lake's stunning underwater mountains are as mysterious as they are beautiful. 
The Barracuda Lake, regarded as one of the best scuba diving locations in the Philippines, enables divers to maneuver around the fascinating underwater mountains as they swim through the various layers of fresh and salt water, eventually reaching warmer regions where the water temperature can rise to as high as 40 degrees Celsius. Number 24. Secret Lagoon A tiny interesting cave leads to the gorgeous Secret Lagoon, which is only accessible through it. The beautiful, towering limestone outcrops will astonish you when you enter the cave on your boat. The dense trees that cover the angular outcrops provide a striking contrast to the limestone's drab grey colour. Once your boat docks, you will climb up to a tranquil pool of turquoise water that is fully surrounded by beautiful rocks by squeezing through a tiny opening in the limestone wall. Last, but certainly not the least fun, Number 25. Snake Island The Snake Island, which is tucked away in a charming bay called Barquette, earned its nickname because it curves into an S-shaped sandbar that connects to the mainland. The island, also known as Vegan Island, is famed for its deep blue waters, smooth white sand and tall palm trees. The backdrop is made up of steep, forested hills. Visitors to Snake Island enjoy taking a leisurely stroll through beautiful scenery and swimming. The Philippines is a land of breathtaking natural wonders, rich history and warm hospitality. From the enchanting chocolate hills in Bohol to the serene Lake Kayangan in Palawan, this archipelago offers a diverse range of experiences for travelers seeking adventure, relaxation and cultural immersion. Whether you're exploring the hidden gems of its islands, diving into its vibrant marine life or delving into its historical sites, the best places in the Philippines promise unforgettable memories. So, pack your bags and embark on a journey to discover the beauty and charm of this tropical paradise, where every corner tells a story and every vista leaves you in awe.